hello students i welcome you all to my channel engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet and now let's solve these two problems which says that express the moment of the couple acting on the pipe in cartesian vector form what is the magnitude of the couple moment take f equals to 125 newton and the second problem says that if the couple moment acting on the pipe has a magnitude of 300 newton meter determine the ma the magnitude f of the force applied to the wrenches so in the first problem we have to find the the moment of the couple as a cartesian vector and we have to find the magnitude of that couple moment so so for both of these problems first of all i will find the generalized equation for the moment and then we will apply these conditions so in the second problem we are given the magnitude of the couple moment and we are asked to find the force magnitude and in the first case the force is given and we are required to find the cartesian vector representation of the couple moment and the magnitude of the couple moment so we will find the generalized equation and then we will apply these conditions so we we can find the moment about any point as i have told you people earlier in the earlier problems so since the couple moment is a free vector so uh, the the effect of the couple moment at each and every point would remain the same so while finding the cartesian vector form or while finding the magnitude of the couple moment we can find the moment about any point on the given assembly so let's say that i want to find the moment about this point a so then we can say that the couple moment vector that will be equal to r cross f and we are going to consider this particular f and since we want to find the moment about point a then this f is passing through this point a so it's not going to produce the moment about point a so only we have to find the moment of this force f about this point a so this will be r cross f and the moment arm will can be a position vector from a to b so let me define the position vector from a to b so we will have the position vector from a to b like this and this can this will be the moment arm for this force f so this is r a b so this will be equal to the determinant of i j and k and this is r a b so now we have to find our a b the position vector from a to b and we have to represent that force f as a cartesian vector so that force f is this force f is only acting parallel to the z axis so, so its i and j component will be zero so we can write that this is zero i plus zero j plus f k and the position vector can be can always be determined um, when we move from a along x y and z to reach that point b so from a we need to move this distance along the y direction so this is 150 mm so 150 150 and then we have to travel this distance this is 200 and then we have to travel 150 again in the y direction and since this point a and b they are in the x y plane there is no need to travel along the z axis so i will write the position vector from a to b so along the y direction we need to move 150 mm and 150 mm so this is 300 mm so 300 mm divided by 1000 is 0.3 meters so i will write that we need to move 0 0.3 meters in the positive j direction or we can say that the distance between both of these forces along the y direction is 300 mm or 0.3 meters similarly uh, we need to travel this much distance this is the di the distance between both of these forces along the positive x so that is 200 meters so 200 divided by 1000 is 0 0.2 so that is 0 0.2 in the positive i and the there is no need to travel along the z so the k component will become zero so we can write that this is zero k so now here in the determinant we need to write uh, we need to first write the components of our a b which is 0 0.2 0 0.2 uh, 0 0.3 and 0 and the force components are 0 0 and that f 
so this determinant will give us the cartesian vector representation of that couple moment so for i we have to hide this column and this row and this is 0 0.3 into f minus 0 so that is uh, plus 0 0.3 f i and then for j this and this 0 0.2 into f minus 0 so with j we always need to write minus uh, minus 0 0.2 f in the j and then for k we need to hide this so this is 0 and 0 so plus 0 k so now this is the um, generalized equation for the coupled moment and this is the cartesian vector representation of that coupled moment in terms of the force f now in problem 490 in problem 490 the f magnitude is given the f magnitude is 125 newtons now we only need to substitute this f in this so the cartesian vector representation of that coupled moment is 0 0.3 times 125 minus 0 0.2 into 125 this is into i j plus 0 k so 0 0.3 0 0.3 into 125 this gives me uh, 37.5 i minus 0 0.2 into 125 so this is minus 25 j plus 0 k so this is the Cartesian vector representation of that couple moment produced by that force of magnitude 125 Newton. Now we can find the magnitude of this couple moment that will be equal to 37.5 square plus 25 square plus 0 square under the square root. So this is equal to 37.5 square plus 25 square plus 0 square. This gives us 45.06 and the units will be newton meters since the force is given in newtons and this position vector we have we wrote this position vector in terms of meters since we have we converted these millimeter into meters so this is in newton meter now the second problem is for problem 491 we have to find the force magnitude and the a couple moment is given that is 300 newton meter so now we can say that uh, if if i write the magnitude of this so the magnitude of this will be mc magnitude that will be equal to 0 0.3 f square plus uh, 0 0.2 f square and plus 0 square under the square root now this magnitude is given this is given this is 300 so we can say that this is equal to 300 and now if we take square on both side of equation the square root will cancel out so this will cancel out and we will have 0 0.3 f 0 0.3 square f square plus 0 0.2 square f square and this is equal to 300 square and now if i take f square common so this will be 0 0.3 square plus 0 0.2 square equals to 300 square and now from this we can find the magnitude of the f this is f square is equal to 300 square divided by 0 0.3 square plus 0 0.2 square and then we have to take the square root so that will give us that force f this is equal to 300 square divided by 0 0.3 square plus 0 0.2 square so this is equal to force f is equal to approximately 832 newtons so now in order to have the couple moment of uh, magnitude 300 newton meter we need to apply the force of magnitude equals to 832 newtons and in the first case 125 newton force is going to produce a couple moment of magnitude 45.06 newton meter and this is that cartesian vector representation of that couple moment so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope it will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for such more problem solutions from hebel statics